Ladies and gentlemen, SSGL here back with a follow-up video about the one I did about a month ago regarding whether or not Blackout, the Battle Royale mode that is to be featured in Call of Duty Black Ops 4 will have split screen or not. I'm doing this video outside of my regular YouTube schedule and it just came to my attention today the release of black ops 4 day that blackout indeed is going to have the two players play screen support designed for online co-op play sources everywhere have began confirming this and i'll be dropping a link on the description below of a few of these forge it's even calling it the 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 blackout uh secret weapons against all battle other battle royale games because of course with blackout having split screen support that marks the first battle royale mode game to have that and what about the other components of the game the competitive multiplayer and zombies well, yes, it's going to be just like its predecessor, Black Ops 3, in which the multiplayer on Zombies is going to have four players play screen support when local gaming, while two players play screen support max when you go online. So there you have it. All three components of a Black Ops 4, the multiplayer, the zombies, and Blackout Battle Royale is going to have split screen support. I have been looking a little bit about the video footage on YouTube and of course Blackout being an online mode when using split screen the compromises lean towards graphics in order to preserve the 60 frame per second as much as possible because again you're gonna need that as much as you can when facing other players um, and so far it's holding uh, other tidbits uh, quick mentions about blackout is the black bars when in split screen in order to compensate for the aspect ratio I understand that block black bars is a sensitive topic to certain split screeners out there i myself already got used to it because of how long i have been playing split screen with uh, halo 4 and black ops 3. now one thing that is bothering uh, people is the small text the small text when playing in split screen and i can relate to that because when i was playing Battleborn in split screen for two I also have the issue of the text being too small to read so I hope that is something that is changed because even with a large TV it can be a little bit uh, difficult if you're not sitting very close to the TV so those are the two uh, things the black bars and the small text that may bother uh, some people but on the other hand it looks like the frame rate is doing uh, pretty good uh, thus far compromises in graphic the, it's visible it's visible but I think it's still on the decent side considering the size and scope of the uh, mode itself uh, this whole uh, split screen with blackout thing started when uh, in a video that was made with a lot of quests, I think it was 195 rapid fire questions. One gentleman stood up and asked of whether Blackout or not can have split screen. And Trade Jar, instead of saying no or I don't know, we check, we have to check into it, they came out with the answer that is feasible or very feasible to have split screen in Blackout. And that right there caught me completely off guard because. Had I been there myself in that interview or, or or session that they were having, I wouldn't have occurred asking about Blackout. I would have asked instead of about the normal multiplayer and zombies of whether or not it's going to be like two player or four player max. Due to the size and scope, you know, how large the map is and how many players are in it, I just didn't thought it would be technically possible 
to have split screen and blackout. But I also have to understand that progress has been made in the console department. You need consoles have become uh, more powerful and I guess that makes it easier for split screen to be in larger games. Uh, having said that, blackout split screen in blackout is not the only surprise that I have uh, I have gotten in the last few months. Split screen support for Starlink Battle uh, Starlink uh, Battle for Atlas, excuse me, is another example that uh, me being surprised of it having split screen because that is an open world game in space and in planets and then you have great combat racing I was expecting two player split screen support max and while that is true on the switch version the developers went full on with the full four player split screen package on the PlayStation and Xbox so that's another surprise right there and now to top it off we got blackout split screen support so it's, it's good times good times to be a couch gamer to, to good times to be a, into split screen support um, so yes but as to why Trickyard did this uh, this can be uh, found in an article that I ran into on Forge the website Forge uh, that details how much uh, Trickyard likes uh, split screen support in their games and how they feel about it. This article I stumbled across after the launch of Black Ops 3 in which uh, certain people noticed that while the other Call of Duties dropped the max split screen support to 2 the folks from Trickyard with their uh, Black Ops series preserved that full four players split screen package and that got the attention of Forge for example which did an interview a uh, short time after Black Ops 3 was released and in that interview you're gonna see um, how Trickyard feels about that so I also am gonna be leaving that link in the description box below so yeah with uh, having said that my final thoughts about this whole situation is that uh, given that this is the first time a battle royale mode has split screen support that the other call of duties only have two players split screen max uh, call of duties competitors i mean most of them don't have it halo doesn't have it for now at least I see the Black Ops series, um, Black Ops 4 now as like the champion of split screen support and if you're a split screener that also happens to like first person shooter, uh, this is the one, I mean, to reiterate the champion of, of a game that has split screen support that also happens to be a first person shooter. So yeah, this is, this is, uh, really good news uh, what do you guys think of all this uh, feel free to leave a comment in the box below do you think it's a good idea to have split screen in blackout given that it's an online split screen uh, do you feel the compromises in graphics were too much or do you understand what they what they had to be done <laughs> for those who are using split screen in blackout how do you feel about the frame rate is it working out for you? Uh, the goods and the minuses. As for myself trying this mode out, I'm currently working and I'm gonna be busy because I have a three week work session. I'm already done with the first one and I'm scheduled to return home just before Halloween. That's gonna be the soon as possible that I'm gonna be able to try split screen blackout so I gotta hold on into there but as for the rest of you who are giving this a shot game on and feel free to uh, drop a comment in the section below explaining how is it working out for you guys so 
having said all that that is it i hope you guys enjoyed this video and until the next time people this is ssgl until the next time peace out